Well, I welcome you to the studio and letting all the viewers know again about the big event going on this weekend with the Light Foundation. Yeah, it's coming up on Saturday. And so, um, look, if there's something that you want to do with the family, with the kids, if you want to have some fun, come on out. We're going to be at the Schneider Arena at PC. It's going to be a great game. We have our light heroes who are going to be playing, you know, against some of the Boston greats. And that's at 7 o'clock. So, the good news is, kids that are eight and under, they're free. Mm -hmm. $20, you can go on our website at mattlight72.com. There's some great information there. It talks a lot about the event. Um, and we're gonna have a lot of fun. I mean, this is a fun night. We did it last year at PC, it was great. This will be our third or fourth year. I always lose track of those, but it's a great time for friends and families to all get together. We're celebrating hockey. We're celebrating you know, the work that we do through the Light Foundation, the work that the Little Heroes Foundation does, and uh, raising a ton of money, having a good time. And you're getting out and playing. Listen, I just had <laughs> shoulder surgery. I, I mean, oh. You're the first hand I've shaken in like two weeks. So, you know, I, I feel like I'm getting better, but not quite good enough to attack these guys. And, I, and I'll tell you what, last year, I was a little bit shocked. Um, even some of the, Brost, the Boston Bruin greats that you think there's no way they can go out there and skate. I mean, because it's a physical thing. I mean, you don't just go and skate. you got to be good at what you do. Oh, yeah. These guys are incredible. So it's good action. I mean... You know, Ray Bork last year was out there lighting it up, and and I and I've heard from our team that they're going to put out a little bit better effort. I mean, last year I think that they were a little upset with themselves; they maybe weren't quite as prepared. But it's going to be a heck of a game this time around. So you're not going to get no, no, you know, be sawing any wood out there with the shoulder. No, you know what? I'm going to offer moral support, you know, and a lot of uh, high fives with the left hand, and you know, encouraging them. I'll try to see if I can coach them up a little. So you know, you do so many events with the Light Foundation. Why hockey? Well, you know, we've never done it before, and we're always looking for a fun event at a different time of the year. You know, we do things in the fall that are maybe a little bit more football-oriented, or we do our big shooting event, which is in Burville. I know you guys are just talking about Burville. Yes. It's in Burville, <laughs> Rhode Island. So, um, you know, we have a lot of fun with the different styles and the different things that we bring on the event space because so many people have things. they got to make decisions, you know, like... I've got a weekend, I've got one day, or I've got a day during the week, and I want to go out and I want to support somebody and do something fun. Well, we offer some pretty cool things to do, and this a hockey event is a, is a really good one. So if folks are interested in going on Saturday, um, where can they get tickets? What more sure. information should they know about the event? Yeah, so uh, mattlight72.com on our homepage, you guys can log in. Um, everything's being run through Eventbrite, so you know they can get your tickets online and get everything done there. We also have, um, uh, you know, like I said, $20 a ticket. Students, if they have their ID, they're going to get half off. You can get tickets the day of, so you can, you know, if it's a last minute thing, you can come. And kids eight and under, you know, are free. So it's going to be a great time. Very family friendly events. Yeah. And you talked a little bit about what the Light Foundation is doing, all the other events that you host, and helping at risk kids. Talk to us about, you've been doing this since 2001? Yeah. Wow, yeah. and here we are, 2017. Where does the time go? Talk with us about the impact that you've seen from being able to raise money. And have not only just fun community events, but help the core mission of the Light Foundation. Tell us about what that's meant to you. Yeah, you know, it's been incredible. You know, I signed with the Patriots in 2001, and I had no idea if the ball was pumped or stuffed. I wasn't, you know, <laughs> this guy that had this grand idea of spending 11 seasons in one place. I mean, I've been very fortunate, and the same thing goes for the Foundation. You know, look, the one thing that New Englanders can all hang their hat on is the fact that they're generous. And they give up their time, their resources, their money. And, and they've been able to help me and the people that work for us and all of the other individuals that donate their time create an environment for kids that's truly incredible. You know, we work with kids from Woonsocket and Providence and all over the state. We got kids just next door in New Bedford right now and we're getting a new class out of Gloucester. So this whole New England region, we've been able to take those kids to a really cool camp, 600 acres in the middle of nowhere where I grew up in Ohio. And, and put them through some team building life skills, you know, really challenge them to think outside the box and not get bogged down with the fact that, you know, hey, I come from a pretty bad environment or I've had a few strikes against me and I'm going to quit. I mean, we don't, we, don't, we don't allow them to do that, you know, and I think that for a lot of people that are working with young people, the one thing you realize very quickly is that they just want somebody to hang out with them. They just want somebody to say, hey, you're doing it wrong and hold them accountable, even though they don't like it, you know, they don't want to wake up at six o'clock, but... You know, you show them how a little bit of the right thing leads to a lot more of the good things they want in their life, and, you know, we love doing it. So you talk about, you know, getting them out to a camp and being in, a, in an environment and with a commitment to excellence and coming from the New England Patriots and the organization that is just always, you know, seen as the tops, not only in the NFL, but of all private organizations. You know, talk, you know, what was it like, to, you know, plot, you know, being there with 
uh, the craft and Belichick. I mean, talk to us about the commitment to excellence that is the New England Patriots. Yeah, it never ended either. I mean, they're kind of sticklers on doing it right every <laughs> time, you know. Um, no, you know, look, it, it, it taught me a lot. And, and I take a lot of those core values and the things that I learned playing for a guy like Bill Belichick and, you know, the Kraft family. I mean, all of them, when you see them showing up to work before you do every single day, you can't really complain <laughs> about what they're asking you to do, you know. So, yeah, yeah, it was very, um, it was very eye-opening for me to be a rookie, you know, in 2001 and win the Super Bowl and then, you know, realize that, hey, this is the expectation year in and year out. And the way we're going to do it is being able to work harder than everybody else around us. And, you know, I think kids can relate to that. You know, they understand that it doesn't just happen, you know, like, for a kid in New England that grew up from 2001 till present day, I mean, they've seen nothing but championships, you know? <laughs> we have been certainly spoiled here in New England. And you talked that that hard work. Uh, is, it, is it just working harder? Is, and that, is that what you instill in kids as well? Yeah, you know, I, I think there's not any one perfect way to describe it or to say it. Um, everybody wants to know, what is the Patriot way? How are you guys able to do what you did? You did? And, and I think that um, it's a combination of things, but definitely the idea that you got to show up and you got to prove every single day mm -hmm. that you deserve to be where you are. Because guess what? There's other people that work really hard, and there's other people that have great ideas, and there's other people that hire you know really good people as well, mm -hmm. and they're going to try to take you down at every you know chance mm -hmm. they get. And so you know, I, I think having that constant pressure and being held accountable. Uh, look, in the game of football, we film everything. Every single play <laughs> is put out there. If you had a mistake, yes. the whole team gets to see it, right? Yes, it is. I think if we we carry some of those ideas into the real world, and that's been fun for me in the last five years being retired and having to, you know, whether it's a business that I launched or anything else, you know, taking a lot of those core values and applying them, you know, in other areas of my life, I've seen, you know, how that, that pays off and how that's been a big benefit to us. And, you know, whether it's through our foundation or anything else, you know, we try to then take those same examples and, and work with young people to get them to realize that, hey, you know, it's, it's not a mystery, but it is kind of tough. It's not going to be easy, yeah. but it's well worth the effort. So you talk about, you know, now that you're retired, putting so much time into the Late Foundation, but you have other business opportunities. So, you know, where else is Matt Late these days? Where, 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 what pies are your fingers in? Yeah, you know, I've been spending <laughs> a lot of time just down the road here um, in a lot of all over province. We actually launched Kiel Vodka about four years ago mm -hmm. now. It's hard to believe it's been that long. So we've had a lot of fun doing that. And that's a local brand that, you know, we love the fact that we're New England based and, you know, we're offering something that other people don't have and people really enjoy. So we've We've been expanding that. This is going to be a big year, 2017, and, and taking our branding and taking the idea of lower alcohol, you know, stay at the party a little bit longer, mm -hmm. be able to be responsible, wake up the next day, get to jo you know, your job. Get the and job done. Don't make the boss angry. But, you know, I think it's, um, it's been a lot of fun for me to be able to stick in the New England region and have another, you know, I, I still talk football a lot, but at the end of the day, um, the business side of it is what drives me now. And, and my kids, you know, I've got four kids, and I have one that just turned four yesterday, so happy uh, birthday again, Anna. Keeping you Pretty on your toes. <laughs> She's the boss, 100%. And uh, other than that, you know, between, you know, friends and family and, and kind of getting to some of the things that I, I wasn't, I wasn't really able to do when you played because mm. you had one day off and you know, again Bill had the expectations of everybody working hard so um, I've been enjoying you know getting into the real world and, and diving into some of these other things I, I didn't have the time to do. So you rehabbing the shoulder right now? Yeah 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 it's not a it, you know it's no fun for anybody that's had a shoulder surgery you guys know it's like it's my fourth one so I should be good at it but um, you know slowly but surely I'll be back. So I'm gonna play a little closer over here Matt. Look okay. at your hands where do you keep the rings? Um, in a lockbox in Ohio, <laughs> but don't try to get into it. It's very heavily guarded. Yeah, I don't, I've never even, I don't know that I've ever worn them. Never even worn them, yeah. Yeah. So, you know, obviously they just found who took Tom Brady's jersey. That's right, <laughs> have yes. Have you ever had anything taken from you? Um, have I, you know, I've had a few things that have come up missing, and I don't know if that was my own fault <laughs> or if it was somebody that actually took them. Um, some of the game balls, you know, you, you get, you acquire so many different things when you play the game of football. and. You know, um, I, I guess I've been fortunate to, you know, have had the experiences I've had. I, I like to use a lot of the things. I mean, it's nice to hang things on walls, but a lot of times I use up, it. Yeah, <laughs> use it or I raise money with it or we do yeah. something. So um, the rings are amazing, though. I tell people all the time, I don't wear them very often, but every now and then you get them out and you look at them and you're like, wow. They're, most, I, they're really big and shiny. You know? Really big yeah. and shiny. And by the way, speaking of the whole Brady and the, the, the jersey thing, I mean, I can't believe Director Comey 
had bad things to say about the Patriots. I mean, how can you use that as a uh, as a segue into something that you're being drilled on by Congress or whatever? It is, I mean, it is amazing how you know pol- the interplay a little bit of how politics and the Patriots sort of played out this, this know, past yeah, year. Yeah. I'm I'm gonna invite him. Could come up to uh, the hockey game. You know, director called me. You're you're invited. You're welcome. We'll show you what New Englanders are all about. Maybe he'll change his mind. Okay, Director Comey, you heard it right here from Matt Light. I hope you take him up on that offer because, you know, Patriots proved themselves once again this year. And looking at next year, they're having this kind of amazing... Re- <laughs> yeah, they're, they're doing they're, something they're, with Bill that they've never done before, and that's spending a lot of money, it seems like. So, so. is it just, you know, is it, you know, do you, we have any sense of I mean, how much longer we're going to see Tom? I mean, what do you, do you think that, you know, there's, there, is this going to be a, an amazing team that they're putting together? He may have grandkids that come watch him play on the field. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't, you know, I, w- I wouldn't put anything past him in terms of, you know, his longevity, how he's going to be able to... You know, keep his body right and all that stuff is is not a mystery. I mean, he's really good at it. And, mm-hmm. you know, mentally, he loves the game of football. So it's hard to get away from something that you truly enjoy getting up at every day um, and having a, a just a clear vision of what you want to accomplish and not getting bogged down and, ah, oh, this again. I mean, he has fun playing the game, and I hope he does it for a long time. And speaking of having fun, it's clear that you're having fun with the Light Foundation. Other events after this weekend's hockey in sort of the near future that you might want folks to know about? Yeah, you know, we've got a great, um, my favorite holiday, um, because I was a little bit of a practical joker and I like to have fun, um, is April Fool's Day. So we have our Fool's Night Out event, which is going to be a great day. Um, it's on April 1st, in case people don't know when April Fool's Day is. And <laughs> we do it right next to uh, the stadium of Showcase Live. That's a really fun event. We bring in some of the best comedians. And then I'll usually show some videos of some of the practical jokes that I pulled in between the skits. And um, that that's going to be a, a Saturday night, too. So that's going to be great. And then a little bit into the season, right towards the beginning of the season, we have our big celebrity shootout. Mm-hmm. And that's in Burrowville at Addie Billy's Farm. And that's an incredible event. And we've been doing, this will be 13 years for that event. And we should, I mean, over the years, we've raised millions of dollars. I was going to say, how much have you raised in, in total for the Light Foundation? I mean, I, you probably don't have the number right at your disposal. Yeah, but you know, even just with that, just with the one shootout event, 13 years and over the last, oh, I'd say five years or more, we've been able to basically hit the 500,000 um net so you know that that's a really cool thing for us to be able to you know grow the work that we do and look it's a 600 acre facility in ohio where we bring these kids in from all over the country and we have a program that's taking place here actually um, in may where we've teamed up with uh, bridgewater state university and we're going to be offering this great leadership camp here which is really exciting for us because we've got a great partner and uh, you know we're going to be able to incorporate a lot of the things that we bring kids into our facility to do right here locally so um, a lot of great work that we're doing, and we, you know, look, we we owe it all to the people here in New England because this is where most of our funding comes from, and this is a big base. They for show us. up, show up, and support again. A super fun, family-friendly day, and just a fun day on Saturday. Who are some of the players? Can you just talk about who's going to be playing on Saturday? Well, I, I know I know Rick Middleton will be there. I know we've got a lot of other great alumni. I I, I know this much. I mean, I told him I told our team that I would try to <laughs> pump them up, and the one guy. I said, I'm not going to talk about all the Bruins and all the guys are going to be there. The Bruin team travels. They do some awesome stuff. And if you've ever seen the alumni's um, uh, attack on or assault on the opposition, <laughs> you know that these guys come to play. Yep. But Bobby Lafredo, who's been the guy that's really put this, it was his vision to have this game. He's gone all out, and I know that he's got a team, and I think I think our team has a chance of winning this year. So the Light Heroes, when they take the, the ice, it's going to be, a, a, I think, thunderous from the beginning to the very end. And Dave Paolo has a role. Dave, yeah, yeah. I mean, I think somebody wanted me to see if I could maybe, you know, mess with him a little bit. But since I can't get on the ice and I can't mess with Dave... I'll, I'll have to wait till next year. And that was my; those are the questions that I had. Is is Matt Light going to saw some wood? <laughs> <laughs> is Matt Light going to take care of Dave Paolo? Well, um, <laughs> maybe for a, for a price. I mean, if we we can raise a little bit of money, I could maybe you know let my left hand still works. Okay, just as long as you, we don't get you in trouble with Director Comey. <laughs> yeah, no. Well, I mean, you know, the invite's still there. The invite's so. there. Come on up, Schneider Arena. Again, tickets. Want to let folks know again where to go? Yeah, go to mattlight72.com and uh, you can get all your tickets there. Or come the day of. It's the last minute thing we're going to have a lot of fun and we've got some great items too whether it's uh, part of a raffle or a silent auction got some guys that have signed some pretty neat things and we have one special 
thing that we're going to auction off. Last year, raised a ton of money for us. Special? Th you can't you can't give us any hints. Huh? Well, it's is a it, it's it, a custom jersey. Now it didn't come from Mexico recently, <laughs> so it's not as cool as maybe some that are floating around out there. But it is legal, and it's going to be for sale. And uh, we hope that it goes over big. How brazen was that Mexican journalist to go? Yeah, and, yeah, all the cameras. You've seen the videos. But he's committed. I mean, I, I kind of have to give it to him. The guy didn't back down. I mean, he was into it, right? He kept on looking around like, I see the cameras. I'm like, yeah. Yeah, I'm talking about I, don't, I don't understand how they actually got him back. Cause, I mean, I, I would imagine if I stole something like that, I would try to offload it as quickly as possible. Yeah, but it's like stolen apparently... art. Like, who, you know, it's everyone knows it on the market. <laughs> like, you know what the jerseys point. are. So. Right. Well, just it was an interesting, you know, end to what a great season was. And obviously, your career at the Patriots, so illustrious, and now doing so much good in the community. And again, this hockey game on Saturday night promises to be super exciting, fun, family friendly. So again, check it out. Matt Light, thank you so much for coming in well, to go local. I very much appreciate it. Good to see you. Thanks thank for you. having me. Thank you. Take care. Okay. Matt Light will not be sawing wood at the big hockey game this weekend. With the Light Foundation raising money for at risk kids to go have opportunities um, during the summertime at camp. So it was great to have him in to talk about that. Again, check out tickets. You can get them at the door. Again, this is Saturday at Schneider Arena. At Providence College, Bruins alumni, and lots of fun is promised to be had, again, supporting.